Welcome back to another sort of Convalaria video. I am Epic Tetsu, and yeah, today we are back doing some actual talking. I haven't talked much because all the videos lately have just been stuff I didn't need to talk. I just needed to show you the little guide on how I beat it, etc. But today we're back with actual information on characters. Simona is here, and she is awesome. So, first and foremost, the Union. You'll see that she is going to pair with Gloria, Tedon, and then, of course, the rest of the, this crew here. And category discipline for Edda. Okay, really good. And Inanna. And then Miguel, if you have him. So, and we've got this dude on the end here, uh, Leonide. So, first and foremost, uh, magical unit. Um, a lot of high magic damage there on the base, 1,453. Physical is only 1,026. Her whole kit really revolves a lot around her magical damage. Um, Ice Lance is a really cool skill. We got to test that out during the Scorched Earth event so far. Um, this is a cool skill. It deals 130% magical damage and inflicts speed down and move uh, debuff for one turn. So decrease speed by 50, and then there's your movement tile by one debuff. So Ice Lance is a really cool skill right off the bat. Energy wave, basic stuff, deals magical damage. Her trait, Winter is Coming, Game of Thrones. So, increases Simona's attack and defense by 5% at the start of the turn. She gains Armor of Ice cooldown for two turns. Armor of Ice, what is Armor of Ice? It's a buff. You gain a physical shield equal to 60% of the caster's magical attack and immunity to frosty tile effects. So, you know those frosty tile effects always messing your movements up and stuff and you try to avoid them? She don't give a crap about that. Just walk right over. She's got immunity to it, so that's great. After being hit by a melee attack, inflicts move debuff on the attacker for two turns that move down. So, really cool trait. You max this baby out, and you get attack and defense by 15%. So, total 10% increase on that. And then, of course, when she has a shield, uh, the attack and defense are additionally increased by 10%, and she becomes immune to attribute debuff. So another 10%, now you've got 25%. So this thing is a huge trait once it's maxed out. Uh, immune to attribute debuffs, attribute debuffs, you'll remember all this. So being immune to all that, fantastic. So really great unit, but even more amazing once she's fully maxed out. So, at the start of the turn, she gains the Armor of Ice. If she's dying after being attacked, she immediately gains Armor of Ice and can be activated up to one time per battle. So, pretty cool stuff there. Maxing out her trait. Let's go ahead and talk about Ice Made Armor. Um, this is a sport skill. So, you'll see there it's a 3x4 area and it is uh, all allies. It selects a target direction of all allies within a 3x4 area in that direction and all your allies within three tiles to the left and right of the tile occupied by a Simona gain the Armor of Ice and Regeneration. So you remember Armor of Ice and then they're going to get that 10% HP recovery at the end of the turn. And then if she already has Armor of Ice, decreases energy consumption by one point. So that's kind of cool. It's a skill they're showing off. There's something else you could pick. Ice Shards is one I really like. It's a good reaction one. After her Armor of Ice is destroyed, she will deal 50% magical damage to all enemies within two tiles of her and inflicts a Move 3 debuff on the target for one turn. Move 3, Control, Disruption, reduces movement by three tiles. That could be one of those skills that turns the tide of battle. I mean, definitely, definitely useful. PvP unit, PvE unit, yeah. Real-time arena down the future, sure. Ice Assault skill is an instant skill. We got to see this one during uh, the Scorched Earth that we did. So, Simona selects one tile within a cross-shaped range around her and charges to the location, attacking all enemies along the line. She deals that ice damage equal to 100% of the physical shield value, and Simona gains Warrior of Frost for two turns. So, physical shield, shield blocks additional physical damage. Warrior of Frost is cool. It's a buff, reduces damage taken by 30%, and increases the distance the character can move by one tile when on frosty tiles. So you'll get more movement if you're on a frosty tile. So that's really cool, really great. Yeah, like that one. Winter Doomsday. This one is a magical damage. Uh, Simona selects one tile within a cross-shaped range around her and deals 70% magical ice damage to all enemies within a 5x3 area in the target direction. She summons an ice wall in the three center tiles. If a tile is occupied, she inflicts frozen on the target for one turn, pre-cooldown one turn. Um, this skill has a huge cooldown to start off with. It uses three energy. It's a five cooldown uh, turn. But the thing about this skill is it's it's a, it could be a game changer, turn tide of battle, all that all that kind of stuff. But the thing to note is that 
You cannot take any action or be, you know, passed through and gains immunity to all physical damage, all that kind of stuff, when frozen and all this stuff. But the effect is going to be disabled upon taking fire damage, you know, AoE damage. So, that's one thing to note about using that skill, is just be careful for, you know, fire stuff. So, overall, she seems like a really solid character to have on your roster. Uh, very cool character design, she looks great. Um, magical damage. And, of course, she is uh, a Watcher class role there. And she's got move 3, a uh, high jump of 2, um, low jump of 2. And just basically, like I said, if you like using Gloria, Tiden, any of these kind of people right here, you're using Edda, you got a Nana, then you can form a really cool team by having her. So, someone I would recommend definitely uh, throw a few multis at if you like using those characters, because she would be a great asset to have on that team. Um... If you don't want to, you know, use those units that much, then, you know, yeah, I get it. You want to save up for Sophia, stuff like that. So, you know, it's really it's really up to you at this point. If you do some for her, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm probably going to do a few multis for her, and we'll see how it goes. So, anyways, hope today's video was informative and helpful to you. If you want to uh, pull her, then by all means, best of luck. And if you don't and save up, then that's a good choice, too. Anyways, you guys remember to be well, be epic, take care, and we'll see you soon.